This video is for information and entertainment purposes only. Today, I will be discussing a potential multi-bagger stock that I've been holding for a long time and am making money on a weekly basis through low probability weekly covered calls and put options. For example, I know that the stock is fundamentally strong and will not fall, so I sold a weekly put option and received 490 premium. The put option will expire and be worthless in a week's time and I will get to keep the premium for free. Imagine being paid 490 for just one week on a stock that you know is fundamentally strong and not dipping due to upcoming catalysts. I'm already up 50% on this options play in one day. All of these buying selling options alerts are first shared with our Patreon and Discord members. With this low probability covered call and put option strategy, one can earn 4 to 5k a month easily. All alerts are shared in our private Discord server. The link to join on Discord through Patreon is given in the description box down below. Proper guidance is shared on hot stocks. For example, we first bought Sava near 10 and did profit taking near 120. Then again we bought in 50 and 60 range and prudently alerted everyone to do some profit taking near 145 a day before the 9 months results announcement. And when later it dipped to 65, we sold 50, 65, 76, 85 strike puts and pocketed handsome premiums. We made money both ways when the stock went up and then made money when the stock took a massive dip. The link to join on Discord through Patreon is given in the description box down below. Now let's get back to the video. The company I am discussing today is none other than Upstart Holdings, ticker symbol UPST. UPST operates a cloud-based artificial intelligence lending platform and is growing at breakneck speeds. The company's platform aggregates consumer demand for loans and connects it to a network of the company's AI-enabled bank partners. Its platform connects consumers, banks, and institutional investors through a shared AI lending platform. Upstart is expected to grow exponentially as instead of competing, it is providing an innovative solution to the existing trillion dollar loan industry without taking any credit risk. This business model is ingenious and highly scalable. Upstart is currently focusing on onboarding small banks, specifically those which have no such systems in use. These customer acquisitions will provide a large consumer base for Upstart with more systemized, quick, and easy assessment of lenders that would generate a new revenue and a new stream of revenue. The use of artificial intelligence in designing business models has provided companies the means to refine their data analysis, due to which they are able to decrease the costs of employment. Companies which have employed AI or are in the process of doing so will get a competitive advantage against their rivals. Upstart is among those companies which have realized the importance of AI and are able to capture a substantial portion of the market in the coming times. So basically, Upstart works in collaboration with banks, providing tools based on AI to examine whether the borrower is worthy enough for lending a loan or not. At the moment, the company is mainly dealing in personal loans, along with entering the auto loan market at a rapid pace. Upstart employs metrics which are not conventional, while judging the creditworthiness of the person asking for it. The metrics on which the company bases its analysis include employment history, education, bank transactions, cost of living, among others. The company does not need to worry about the credit risk as 96% of total revenues comprises of the fees that the company charges from banks. Moreover, if a loan application from Upstart is rejected by the bank, then the loan is sold to institutional investors. In the last year, the percentage of loans generated by Upstart, which the banks approved, was 21%, whereas institutional investors obtained around 77% of the loans by the company. The company's financials have improved very much in the first quarter of 2021, which can be proven by the fact that the total amount of loans on the balance sheet reduced by around $21 million quarter over quarter, amounting to around $57.2 million, making up merely 12% of the total assets. Although the number of Americans who pay their loans back is high at around 80%, merely 48% of these are entitled to prime credit. This makes it obvious that there is some issue with the prevalent credit rating system, due to which banks are not able to capitalize on the huge opportunities of revenue. The use of AI can help examine many aspects of the borrower, providing a great help to banks in evaluating the person with more accuracy, resulting in increasing the revenues for the bank. The models being used by Upstart aid in decreasing the default rates by around 75%. 
at the same approval rate while enhancing the loan approval rate by 173%, keeping the same loss rate. These models also help to expedite the loan approval process, as 71% of loans are readily approved. The models of the company are very efficient at evaluating more than 1,000 variables rapidly to evaluate the credibility of the person asking for the loan. The system is much more superior than the current FICO credit assessment systems, which base their decision on the evaluation of just five variables. Due to the ramp up in the fully automated loans increasing from 18% of total in the first quarter of 2017 to 71% in 2021, the company is continuously working to improve its models. The company is making its way into the auto loan market as it presents the second largest lending market in the US. Around $626 billion value of new auto loans were recorded in 2020. The company is increasing its presence in this domain as it has entered 33 states in the first quarter of 2021. This has increased its dealership footprint by around 45%. The acquisition of car sales software provider Prodigy is a part of this extension plan. Prodigy was able to sell cars worth around $800 million in Q1. The company is making success by leaps and bounds, marking a 90% growth in revenue year on year and quarter over quarter growth of 40% in the first quarter of 2021. The company is able to gain positive income irrespective of its rapid pace growth. The company was able to register a net margin of 8.3% in the first quarter, marking an income increment of 6.7% year over year, along with an EBITDA margin of 17%, which has increased by 10.7% year over year. The conversion rate, which is the number of loans transacted divided by the inquiries received, has improved significantly by 22% in the first quarter of this year which resulted in transaction volumes of around $1.7 billion. The company forecasts a revenue of around $600 million for the financial year 2021, which is in accordance with the expectations of analysts who are expecting $601 million in revenue, marking a growth of greater than 150%. As per the analysts of Wall Street, they seem to be really optimistic about the stock, which can be reflected from the fact that 5 out of 7 gave a buy or strong buy rating to the stock. The average price target is around 139. Analysts at Seeking Alpha also see a bright future for the stock, as 7 out of 9 analysts have already given a buy or strong buy rating. These analysts at Seeking Alpha, in order to determine the relative value of the stock, have employed the estimated 3-year CAGRs and forward PS ratios of competitors like Lending Club and SoFi Technologies. Lending Club is being traded at 3.99 forward PS, whereas the analysts are forecasting 36.86% revenue CAGR for the next 3 years. SoFi is being traded at 23.41 forward PS ratio, whereas analysts are expecting a 42.15% CAGR for the next 3 years. Also, the forward PS ratio for Upstart is 15.05. The competitors are having a PSG ratio of 33.18 on average, which is quite greater than the ratio of Upstart of 24.2. This difference points out the fact that the stock is being traded at a discount comparatively and can attain a value of around $164.5. At the moment, the price of the stock is showing an upward sloping trend. The price in recent times went to its support level and repealed its track. It is giving a notion that $110 level represents a firm holdup for the stock, and the present price represents a huge opportunity for investors. The price is greater than 200-day moving average as well as 50-day moving average, which also indicates the bright future of the stock. RSI is close to 50, which indicates that the stock will keep on rising and has not yet entered the overbought area.